Before we look at Adobe Media Encoder 2015, I want to show how to move compression settings from Media Encoder 2014 to 2015. So let's show the doc and let's start the 2014 version of Media Encoder. I spend a lot of time tweaking my settings to create special effects that I need or to get exactly the smallest file size with the best quality or whatever particular tasks I need to do. The presets are fine, but they need to be extended and I create user presets which make that possible. Here for instance, I have three user presets, some that I were using for my speed tests and one that I use for converting a file to 720p ProRes. Select the presets, and they only need to be in the user preset category, not the system presets. Select the presets that you want to move to the 2015 version, and click this icon right up here, which says Export Presets. On my desktop, I've created a folder called AME Settings. There's no magic to the file name. It could be called anything, but I've called it AME Settings, and I'll click Choose. That quickly, the settings are output. We quit out of the 2014 version. We start the 2015 version. And the very first thing that I want to do is to import those presets. So I click on this folder right here, which says Import Presets. Go to the AME Settings folder. Select the three presets that I want to import. Click Open. And that quickly, they're now moved from AME 2014 to AME 2015. It's really fast, and it's a really good example of why you need to hang on to the old version of the software so you can migrate stuff to the new version. Now, to be quite truthful, there's an option during the installation of all the 2015 updates where it will migrate the imports, where it will migrate settings for you. If you check it, great. If not, it's very easy to move settings, not only between one version of the application and another, but between multiple computers. So say you've got three people doing compression, one person can set the setting, export it, and share that compression setting with everybody else, so you're all compressing files exactly the same way. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 164. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.